required by the Monmouth Township Code, the mayor is to deliver an annual message to the Township Committee regarding the conditions and needs of the Township. I began my 2018 message by saying that the Township's condition was good. Thanks to the hard work and leadership of our administrator, Mr. Penn, our assistant administrator, June Hershey, and the Township Committee, I am starting this year's report by stating that the condition of our Township is very good. Our Township Committee, with the support of our Township's dedicated personnel, professional staff, and volunteers, has successfully completed and accomplished the following 2018 goals. Over four and a half miles of roads road repaving, which included 14 streets. The installation of our new state-of-the-art ADA-compliant playground at Community Park. Continued with our streetscape enhancement and street sign replacement programs throughout the township. Upgrades to the Tawako Center, including lighting, banner poles, and plantings. And we thank the Tawako Civic Association for their contributions and voluntary work with these tasks. We continue with various security upgrades and facility, at facilities throughout the township, including town hall, police headquarters, dog park, and others. We completed over $150,000 of infrastructure improvements, including drainage, sewer, and water. Improved relationships while lowering costs through shared services with neighboring towns. To ensure we adequately make provisions for their future needs and growth, the Planning Board's Master Plan Subcommittee will be completing their 2018 evaluations and submitting the recommendations to the Township Committee in the very near future. In appreciation of all of our residents, we enhanced and expanded our Model Day event. Through proper management and conservation and a little help from Mother Nature, our aquifer levels have reached normal highs not seen since 2009. More significant, with the hard work and guidance of the township attorney and professional planner, we believe we have negotiated an acceptable settlement with the Fair Share Housing Council, avoiding the court ordered resolution that could be unsettling for the entire community. It should be noted that all of the above and additional items were all achieved while maintaining an acceptable budget. Monville Township's levy has been considerably below the state's mandated 2% cap for the last six years. And we have maintained an exceptional triple bond, triple A bond rating for the past 10 years. We have accomplished all of the above while still reducing our overall debt by approximately $2 million per year with approximately $24 million reduction since 2012. Our current debt level is the lowest level in many years. 2019. Collectively, the Township Committee develops goals and objectives for each year. This committee has not yet finalized our 2019 objectives. However, the following is a brief summary of some of the items of consideration or that I believe uh, should be included. Maintaining our bond rating, reducing debt, while holding the line of taxes is always an obvious priority. We will continue with an aggressive street paving program, install sidewalks at Horseneck Road to provide safer travel for students, funded in part with grant money, and complete upgrades to the pedestrian crossings at the Tawako Center. Let's continue with the replacement of street signs with the new historic architectural design and continue to improve streetscapes where possible. Both will bolster property values and stimulate pride in Monaco. We'll be addressing required repairs to the water dam at Lake Monaco. Let's finally pass an ordinance that will help preserve our historic structures and buildings by preventing demolition by neglect. The design of the sewer expansion project at the upper Old Lane area should be completed with bid and reward soon to follow. Recent flooding has been an issue in the Hallow section and other areas of the township. Engineering needs to further review the causes and develop a plan of action for corrective measures. 
Monfield Township will be entering into a shared services agreement with Fairfield for flood controlling desnagging of the Passaic River in the near future. <coughs> Upgrades to the community park, including replacement of lighting, expansion and upgrades in the amphitheater, and construction of an ample size covered pavilion for our residents' use is being considered. Let's always uh, continue to explore new opportunities to preserve open space. Our township's first responders, fire and first aid, are 100% volunteer organizations who are on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We need to pass a resolution and encourage our neighboring municipalities to pass supporting resolutions, asking our state legislative representatives to work with our volunteers to develop incentives to increase their ranks and reward their services. Challenges. Longville Township still has its challenges. We must continue to protect our sole source aquifer, control reasonable development that will meet our future needs while preserving our character, traditions, and quality of life. Drug abuse. Opioids and other narcotics continue to be a plague in our township and country. The township committee needs to work in conjunction with our Drug Awareness Council, Health Department, and law enforcement to aggressively fight this crisis. The township committee recently passed a resolution asking our state legislature not to legalize the sale of recreational marijuana. In closing, I encourage greater participant, greater participation, feedback, and suggestions from our residents. I am excited, optimistic, and I look forward to a productive and in 2019. Thank you.